And welcome back, guys, to another uh, episode here at the Felsburn Farm. So uh, it's a beautiful morning here, and I'm just picking up where I left off from my last video of uh, doing soil samples in this tractor, which, as you can see, is pretty muddy uh, from uh, driving in the fields and also the one rain day, which made kind of a mess. So uh, I think today I'm going to take this, the 7250, right down to the shop uh, or the marketplace right down the road and uh, just purchase a planter real quick because uh, I want to get uh, some crops planted in one of these fields. I don't know which one yet, but I'm just going to drive this down there. It's such a good looking tractor, all clean, <laughs> uh, but I do want to get a little bit of dirt on it uh, and drive it around. It's just a really nice sounding tractor too. I'm just looking forward to spending some time in this cab. Uh, usually I'm in John Deere uh, tractors usually, so this is a little bit different. And uh, yeah, looking forward to planting since it's early spring. To turn around, also I've got, you know, I'm a little bit torn. Uh, I would like to get that tractor out, but uh, for now I'm just gonna take this one since I've got a lot of smaller fields that I'm used to from my uh, California farm or the Ravenport map, uh, I'm just going to pick up a small medium planter and uh, just use this as the dedicated tractor for those size planters and then my um, bigger, bigger planter, bigger tractor will go for the bigger fields, which I'm not sure if I have anything that would really fit the description of a big field right now like you can see like this one right here on the right i don't think yeah this one's not mine but I mean, we're dealing with really small fields so see if we can find in the uh in the shop and i'm driving there to pick it up anyway so you know you can shop anytime uh, okay. wait for traffic but yeah, as you can see, I've got a couple pieces of brand new equipment over there already. Um, got a uh, gooseneck trailer, which I'll... I wonder if both of those would fit on the gooseneck, actually. Got the telehandler and the uh, new uh, New Holland uh, skid, skid steer. So I'm just going to park this, I think. Yeah, I want to make sure I park it out of the way. I don't think it really matters, but whenever I purchase something, it's going to appear somewhere. So just park this over here for now. I really do like this. This is like a nice, really nice uh, model for the for the sim. I like this tractor. Sounds good, looks good. As you can see, it's, you know, just it's really pleasing to look at. I <laughs> kind of kinda don't want to get it dirty, but yes, you can always watch stuff later, so it's not that big of a deal. I would like to at least get some hours on it. Uh, as you can see, I've got the, uh, on my right-hand corner here, the screen. We've got a couple different little info uh, displays on that gray box as a mod that I downloaded it shows coolant temperature miles or kilometers rather um, and all that so I really like keeping track of that for each vehicle um, just makes it feel a little more realistic you know it's like how much time I know some you know some equipment is in hours so that's already included in the bottom of the speedometer you see in the right hand corner is the hour meter which yeah, it's zero so <laughs> literally brand new uh, to me so um let me start to set this down real quick and yeah so like i was just gonna say real quick uh i had purchased these uh these need to be moved down the road to the farm and i'm wondering if i could fit the telehandler and the skid loader on that trailer i probably could uh i gotta have the uh yeah i could i could actually probably make that work and the uh, excavator bucket, of course, that's going to be for my uh, Volvo excavator whenever I order that and get that uh, get that uh, ready to go. But let's just take a look. <laughs> it's kind of weird seeing this place empty. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Let's take a look at planters. And if you see anything, because I do have some mods that are included in the shop, and if you see something you don't recognize, you can always leave a comment and ask about any mods that you see, but I think most of the stuff I'll be scrolling through is going to be included in the sim already. 
uh, and this is Farm Sim 19. I'm sure you probably figured that out by now, but if you don't know, it's the uh, not the newest edition. But I need to think what I'm doing now. What am I looking for? <laughs> Planters. <laughs> All right. So these are uh, okay. So there's not really. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, I've got that one. That one actually might work, uh, based on what I'm thinking about. Uh, but I don't know if I, I don't know, I don't know what kind of capacity I really need, uh, at, off the top of my head. Uh, so that, this, I will be purchasing one of these. Oh, okay, so this one, this is, oh, like, you can see, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, okay, I get it now. So the, it does say mod in the bottom, in super tiny letters right there in the orange. Uh, that's, uh just spurred my memory there it's like so it sorts the mods at the end so these look almost exactly the alike um, but I, I said in a previous video that this one uh, a lot that I have highlighted now allows you to plant directly into what I call cover crops or you know existing standing material or even you know what I have in the fields right now which are uh, untouched by me Instead of cultivating or having to plow, I can just use this planter. Uh, the sim does not allow you to just plant into a standing crop, so that's slightly, you know, unrealistic. So this mod fixes that, allows you to, uh, what well you can do in the real world, obviously, just run a planter through a field. Um, so that'll be, I'll eventually be purchasing that for larger fields and my larger tractor. Um, but for right now, I, uh, okay, so... Right now I do want the capability to plant without cultivating or plowing, so I'll just probably go with this one because it's the only one I'm scrolling through uh, among these that specifically says I can do that. So I'm not, I'm not too familiar with any of these. I don't, even, I don't even remember downloading these as a mod, but I'm just going to go with this one, <laughs> which is fairly expensive. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, obviously, well, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> FYI, I do have the money mod turned on, so <laughs> I can, yeah, essentially print my own money whenever I want, but I try not to do that, just, you know, to not get too carried away. Uh, we'll go ahead and purchase this brand new. Um, and let's see, what is the, what is the difference here? It takes away the marker wheels. Huh. I'm not sure what that's doing. So I just, yeah. I want to leave it. Oh, okay. I see now. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm just going to buy it just like that. Okay. So we've got a planter now. And the next thing I need is seed. Um, and I don't know. Do I have a... I usually use the, uh, what's called the lizard work truck. <laughs> which... Um, and there's a nice looking planter too. It's gonna, oh, it's gonna look a little weird hooked to my, I don't know, we'll see how it looks when I connect it up. Red, red tractor pulling a green and yellow, uh, planter. Might make some people cringe at that. <laughs> um, let's see. Where, oh, I don't think I, yeah, I don't have a... <clears throat> this is my go-to work truck, which I'm going to pull up here in a second. Of course, I choose, I could just get the seed tender. Um, but this, one of these, there, this one. This is my go-to work truck, just because it allows you the ability to have uh, any number of different things in the bed. Uh, cargo, here, i got to scroll back to that. Okay, as you can see, you can choose... Water, fertilizer, lime, seeds. So that's my that's my usual go-to setup right there. It just looks good. I mean, it's it's a it's a good-looking truck, all things considered. So uh, I don't need a massive amount of seed quantity right now. Um, probably two seed things would be enough. I might change my mind later, but just to get rolling. Uh, strobe light. I'm not sure where that's... Oh, okay. Oh, that's kind of cool. I don't think I knew that earlier. Uh, I've had this truck for a while in my other maps, other farms, but uh, I didn't realize I could do strobe lights. It's kind of interesting. 
And this is changing something. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah, I don't need all that. This works just the way it is. But the strobe lights is a nice touch. Okay. And I'll just get that truck. And now we need seed. And I haven't figured out what... Let's see what seed I need. And this will work. So I'll get two of these. And I've already got the skid loader here to move these around. So that works. Okay, so I've made a couple of purchases just now. My brand new farm. Uh, okay, this is almost about everything that we need. To get rolling. Got the tractor, the truck, and the seeds. So, and yeah, this truck is not going to pull this trailer. <laughs> that's that's for good. That's going to move for my other truck. So, let's see if I can just. I wonder how you activate those lights. Unfold for oh. Huh. I wonder how you activate the strobe lights. Yeah. Unfold this tailgate. Which, yeah, has a handy laptop, by the way. Yeah, just an all-around great truck. I mean, this thing has many, many useful purposes. I'm gonna have to figure that out later. But right now, I'm just gonna use the function that allows you to park next to seed pallets and transfer them to the truck. So, uh, not the most realistic thing, but it's gonna work for now. Okay, so as you can see, we've got the little bar down there now um, that says we've got all the seed and I'm going to first I need to hook the planter up and figure out which field I want to drive that to and I'm just going to have to pretend that uh, I had someone uh, drive this truck for me so let's get this hooked up. All right, let's get some time in this tractor. And I shouldn't have to get out to connect it because I've got a mod that doesn't just allow you to simply connect, but I think it depends on, yeah, so it might, yeah, it looks like it's this. Yeah, it works with this planter and tractor, so I have to get out. And yeah, there we go. <laughs> Shows me. There we go. Oh, that's pretty sick too. Look, see, this is this is what <laughs> this is what makes me smile right here. You actually have to connect the hoses too. That is awesome. And oops. Sorry, it's showing the Xbox controls and I don't have an Xbox controller. Oh, okay, there we go. Figure it out. Cool. That is awesome. That makes me happy. Just that little detail. Man, it didn't leave us a lot of clearance, did it? I'm gonna put this planter here, but it's all nice and easy. Okay. Oh, yeah. Actually, you know what? We could just fill up the seed now. I don't need to bring the pickup truck with me. But let's look at what field okay i think i'll just figure out what crop i want to plant when i get there oh you know what actually i do need probably well i can plant now fertilize later because everything that i have sampled so far is showing low in nitrogen so yeah i'll probably just oh yeah i'll do like a really small field just to just to be able to say I planted something. Plot nice and straight. They're scuffing the brand new equipment. And I'm mean, gonna have to be careful with turns because <laughs> in my uh, fairly recent video, when I had when I was back at the California farm, I was driving my 9520 uh, articulated tractor. Uh, and the planter configuration on that allows for very tight turns in addition to the actual tractor being able to do tight turns. So 
this is not going to be set up for that at all, so I've just got to pay attention to that, and I don't know how the heck I'm even going to... See, that's the thing about the roads here. <laughs> it is not designed for this type of equipment. Huh. Well, I'm just going to have to do a little adventuring here. Luckily, it's not like I'm driving down the highway or anything, but yeah, it looks like I'm probably going to lose a couple signs. But I don't know how else to do this. <laughs> because, yeah, I mean, I guess just not having, not having a big planter. But, you know, I mean, I'm going to eventually have to have a combine and be able to drive that down the road. So it looks like I'm squeezing in between the posts, okay. Yeah, they're still standing. But, yeah, I just realized, just, yeah, like, I think I've commented on it before, just how tiny the roads are here. Uh, which doesn't make a lot of sense, because, I mean, they don't look that small. But, I don't know, just a weird, weird thing. Because I never have any trouble at the California farm moving equipment. Try not to, yeah, I'm right, oh, shoot. <laughs> oh no. Well, I'm just gonna end up murdering a couple street signs. I don't know, does it even knock them over? Oh, maybe it doesn't. Oh, okay, it looks like it just passes through them anyway. Okay. Not that big of a deal at all. But it's just the idea that I'm, you know, the idea that I'm driving through poles and stuff. Okay. Matt. Oh yeah, I can go up this one. Right on. This makes me happy. Brand new farm, brand new equipment. And we can just, or we're just going to plant straight into this standing crop. And just roll with it. I'm going to feed him real quick, keep him busy while I pass through here likes to jump out front of the equipment every once in a while. Chickens are going to stay there. <laughs> such a good boy. Look, he's just sitting there. Such a good dog. Okay. This is not me, by the way. Well, I mean, the, I'm talking about the uh, dead crop is something that was already here when I started the farm. Um, so I'm going to be uh, changing this. Oh, wait. This is field 19. Oh, okay. I'll do a couple passes. I just want to get—I just want to get stuff dirty. And okay. Oh, I didn't fill up the seed. Uh, that's okay. All right, I'm gonna bring the truck over. Get ahead of myself. And now I've got to do the unrealistic but necessary teleportation to the vehicle. Oh, I could have taken the gator. There we go. All right, hop in this truck and we'll take this down to the farm. It'll actually kind of look nice there because usually you've got a vehicle accompanying you while your equipment's in the field. Uh, you know, toolbox on wheels or service vehicle. So, and I get to observe the damage I left behind. You know, there's one, there's one casually there. So it knocks over certain signs. Not all of them. Not these posts which seem to be invincible. Yes, I've got a full load of seed. This is all I need right now. And then, uh, yeah, I'm going to need fertilizer, too. That's the big thing. That'll be the biggest thing. I guess I'll just start with canola, because that, that's a pretty looking crop, and just really satisfying to watch that grow and see the yellow blooms on that. So I think that's what I'll start off with. And that is really satisfying. <laughs> I really like that. That is really cool, just to see, uh, see that sitting in the field. Sneak around here. I don't know. Let's see. 
I have a mod where some vehicles have trouble driving through the field. Uh, yeah, so it looks like I'm spinning a little bit. Let's get, get some dirt on this too. And oh, look at that. I don't know if you can see that, but the flap just opened for the planter. That is very cool. Oh, check that out. I like that. Uh, okay. So this, yeah, this is, this is pretty cool looking. Popped open automatically, so I've got to get back on the get back on the tractor just to uh, ish, enter that command. Fill up the seed. Wonder how much. So that's got two full seed pallets. Wonder how much it's going to fill up the planter. Okay, it looks like, I don't know if you can, you can see the loading bar down there, 400, 500, as I'm filling up, and I can change the seed whenever I want. It's the corn right now, but I can change that later. And okay, it's going to fill it up all the way. Wow. Okay. So two seed pallets fills up this planter completely. And then the second bar above it, I'm assuming it's fertilizer. I uh, have never used that before, but I think that's what that's for. So, okay. And, oh, okay, so we've still got seed left in this. Wow, so, that's good to know. I'm just gonna drive this up, park it, in, park it along the field here. Oof, <laughs> spinning. <laughs> it's that uh, traction mod that uh, some vehicles have a tougher time. Just parking in the shade right here, perfect. I'm liking this. This is good. Awesome. All right. We're ready to roll. Isn't that such a picturesque scene? <laughs> shiny red tractor, shiny brand new planter, mountains in the background. This is what I love. I love this. Okay. I might as well just start right here. Just do the outside edge and make sure I select. All oh right, sunflowers. That would look pretty too. But uh, oh, maybe that is. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm not seeing canola as an option. Oh, okay. I see. So my mistake was not paying attention to what crops this planter can handle. So I think instead, what we're gonna do is probably sunflowers. <laughs> like a, I think he's just sitting there with a the dog. <laughs> what are you doing? Ready to go. Okay, he's safe. Alright, I'm just gonna knock my cruise control down here a little bit so I can activate that right away. And, oh yeah, it's in seven, oh it's in miles per hour here, I gotta change that. I like to do kilometers per hour because that's what most of the other vehicles are set up. But, uh, for the moment. Okay, the planter cover closed. Yes. And yeah, sunflower lower. And let's just do one pass right now. And activation rate. That might be for fertilizer, I can't remember. Alright, let's roll. Yep, and look, it's planting through the standing crop, which I want to see. I know I'm leaving a bit of an edge here, but that's okay. It's going to be one pass. Not sure we're turning on and off the cellar does. I don't think it means. That doesn't should mean anything. Should start planting one as soon as you start pulling it through the soil. That is a really nice looking on this side. I just love the, the way that looks. So Right, sunflowers. And oh yeah, I've got to decipher this. 
got the deciphering or the how to read the symbols for this. Um, let's take a look. Just trying to re-familiarize myself with all the different uh, things to look at. Oh, okay, yeah, so that just shows the path that I made. Okay, yeah, I was looking at the... So it said application rate, but I think that was just if there's fertilizer in the planter, which I currently don't have, so that's fine. Um, so I'm going to just probably, for sake of time, I should plant along the length of the field instead of the width. Um, but I just did one pass to cover the turnaround area. Uh, or, no, that's not right. <laughs> did one pass, but I'm going to drive. I'll drive up here. Just so I can start out a better line. I'm going to use my marking wheel. That's a really nice looking track there. This is very satisfying. <laughs> very satisfying. It's a really pretty map too. Got spending time here. Gonna get in position here. We're gonna do a nice long, and I'll try and get on the edge this time, just cause make it a little neater. But this will be easier too, cause I can just follow the existing line from whoever planted this field. Marking wheel out. Ridge marker. Which one are we going to turn on? Huh, doesn't really get it's activating them for some reason. <laughs> Ridge marker is not good. That's weird. It's kind of when I start driving. Oh, I know why. It's got that little weird uh, turn on the tower. That might be it. Okay. Brand new planter and the ridge markers don't work. <laughs> right, I'm not going to speed a little bit here. Try. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I understand. So I need to have the planter down and uh, so yeah the so planter on planter down the ridge marker work. I was going to follow this line. Let's go. And this is the life right here. <laughs> nice beautiful day, early morning, and uh, putting some fresh seed in the ground. It would be cool if it was canola, but I could uh, I can do that later with the other planter that I'm going to purchase. And, uh, yeah. Can't even see that. It doesn't actually look like it's making a mark, that ridge marker. We'll see when I get turned around if there is anything actually there, but it doesn't appear to be doing anything. Which is... Could be that the ridge marker itself is not able to cut into the standing crop based on the rules of the sin, but that's uh, that's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> this thing's really painful. <laughs> First thing you get on that. 
Alright, so I'm gonna get turned around instead of running over my existing seed bed, which I just planted. I'm just gonna turn around here and see if I can spot a line. Doesn't appear to be. <laughs> which, that's fine. I can just go external view. I am making a bit of mess. <laughs> I know this isn't perfect, but I literally just felt like planting. Maybe it was just because I've let, uh, let GPS do the driving for me with my GPS mod, uh, which I have in previous videos, so if you're interested in that, uh, instead of just hiring a worker but actually sitting in the cabin letting GPS drive the tractor, it's a pretty neat mod that I'm a big fan of. Oh god, was that lowered in? Oh Jesus. I'm gonna pretend I didn't do that. <laughs> and it looks like this video is getting long already, so 30, 30 minutes, so I'm gonna continue to plant and uh, I'll uh, work, on, uh, work on some things for the next video. But Hope this puts you in a planting mood or <laughs> just uh, a go hop in your own tractor and you know, go plant some things. And, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.